So I needed to do an update on a video that I did about two months ago, and that was regarding customizing grid charging, you know, it, using the, the, the servo and the touch screen to control when my system charges from the grid by turning a relay on and off. And I have to add something to that for those of you that have more than one multi plus two inverter. So let's get started. As I stated a moment ago, this is specifically regarding if you have more than one multi-plus in your environment and you've configured that switch. If you don't, just skip the video because it doesn't really apply to you, but it's something that you need to do in order to have things work properly if you have more than one inverter. And in my case, I've got two uh, set up in a split phase configuration. So if we take a look at the inverters real quick, I am currently in pass-through mode. If you look at the indicators on the inverters, you notice they aren't the same. One just says mains on, and the other says mains on and bulk. And I noticed this right off the bat, you know, that the one had the light on and the other didn't. And I didn't think much of it. I just figured, you know, maybe that's how it was supposed to be. But after talking with Current Connected regarding an unrelated issue, uh, Jason over there had me try a handful of different things. And I was sure everything was configured properly and ultimately I'm glad that he stuck with it because he was completely right and I missed a configuration step regarding the assistance and here's here's the big reason that I missed this step with the assistance looking at the charge current assistant it says you only need to install this assistant on the master inverter and my mind kept thinking Leg one was the master and leg two was the slave. And it's not that way in, in this environment. They are each master inverters of their individual legs. So this is a master inverter for leg one. This is a master inverter for leg two. And if there were multiple sets, then I would only need to worry about installing that assistant on these two. But when I first went through and configured everything, I only added the assistant to this inverter. And that's why this one, every time it switches to grid, shows that it's charging. And actually we can see that it does have a little bit of current, about a half an amp, coming off of that inverter. You see PV charging is all the way down. There's really no loads. So it does have a little bit of power charging from the grid going into the battery. So we'll jump over to the computer here real quick. We can see that I'm in my VRM, we're in pass-through mode. I'm going to go to my device list and we need to go to the remote VE configure section. We're gonna go through, we're gonna get the latest configuration off of the inverters and then we are gonna go through and make one little change and then push that change to the inverters. We'll open up our VE config file. We're going to look at L1 first. So we see our assistant list and this charge current control assistant is the one that controls whether or not these inverters are going to charge from the grid. So if I start this assistant, we can see right here, this assistant must be programmed in all master units. When it's programmed into another one, you're going to get a notification that it's not needed. So we have this set to Use aux 2 and set the charge to zero when the voltage is lower than one and set the charge to 20 amps when the voltage is higher than four volts. And then disable when the charge current should be zero. And that's it. You know, it's very basic. But I only added it to this inverter thinking that it was the master over the entire system. So we're gonna step back and go to leg two, VE configure multi, and it'll tell you there's no assistance on the device. At least in my case, there's not. So I went to the assistance and, you know, when, when Jason told me to do this, 
I thought, ah, there's no way it's going to work. It's going to give me the error. It's going to tell me that I don't need it on this device because it's not a master device. And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> so we'll add the assistant. And we are looking for the charge current control. We'll start it. We see the same, same prompt. But this time it's different. After the remarks last time, we had a couple of amperage and voltage settings that we had to change. But on this one, all we have is this disabled the charger flag. So I thought, okay, I had to check that on my last one. And then that's it. And even if we look at the summary, all it's doing is disabling the charger if the current's zero. And that's where my problem was. That's why this light stays on. Because if we, if we look at this charger in here, charger is enabled, even though the charge current is set to zero. So it's trying to charge with nothing or with you know, half an amp, and it's not supposed to. When I turn on the relay on the servo telling the system to charge from the grid, that still works. That still kicks both of these up. It still charges with 20 amps for both inverters. But when it's supposed to be zero, it's not disabling the charger. All because I didn't add the assistant here. So we're going to close this. Be aware, settings changed. Do you want to change? Save? Yes. And then we'll close this one as well. Same message, be aware. Now we're going to upload these changes. And the system has been configured. And if we look over here, Everything has come back online. Here's inverter one, showing mains on only. And now over to inverter two, mains on only. And that's it. But all because my, my understanding of how this system is set up just wasn't correct. So hopefully that helps you. Again, this only applies if you have more than one inverter in your environment. And you're set up in a, really, it's, it's if you're set up in a split phase. Uh, if you're set up in parallel to where you're paralleling on the same phase, then that's, it's not going to be an issue for you. But it's only for the split phase configuration, probably the three phase as well. I know there's a handful of people watching from across the pond and, you know, they might have a three phase system that they're trying to set this up. So you would have to add that charge current assistant for each master on each phase. And I do want to thank Jason from Current Connected for working with me and having the patience to work with me. <laughs> uh, even though that I was sure that I had everything set up correctly, he, he continued to work with me and help point me in the right direction. So thank you very much for, for your help and your time, Jason. So with that, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and we'll catch up with you later.